Assalamu alaikum, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So in this video, we'll try to learn about how we can automatically determine the shear strength parameters, means cohesion and angle of internal friction from direct shear test results. So uh, in the previous video, I have already explained in detail that how we interpret the results of direct shear test. But in this video, we'll focus on automation or how we can automatically determine the shear strength parameters from direct shear test results. So let's try to understand this through an example. Here I have the data, experimental data, uh, through which we'll try to learn that how we can determine the automatic, uh, uh, automatically uh, shear strength parameters, cohesion and angle of internal friction from this data. So uh, we already know the uh, whole procedure as uh, here you can see the normal stress 50 kPa and corresponding to that we have horizontal displacement and shear stress. Similarly for 100 kPa and 200 kPa. Now what we do is we, we, we simply write the normal stress uh, 50, 100 and 200 then we have to find out the corresponding maximum shear strength against 50 kPa and 100 kPa. So for that purpose I'll be applying the formula of max maximum shear strength shred, maximum shear stress from under 50 kPa normal loading so I'll click enter now 34 kPa is the maximum shear stress against normal load of normal load of or normal stress of 50 kPa. Now similarly I'll determine maximum shear stress corresponding to the 100 kPa normal loading. So I'll click this column, click enter. Now again the same procedure will be adopted for 200 kp normal stress max click. Now uh, we have normal stress and maximum shear stress. We have corresponding max. So let's see how we can determine it. Uh, we'll simply uh, put the sign of equal to apply in the formula. I'll be applying intercept intercept will apply the command of intercept now uh, I have to select known uh, quantities along y-axis so we have uh, maximum shear stress along the y-axis then put comma and along x-axis we have normal stress click OK now 15 kPa is the question so this is how we can determine automatically cohesion from the shear stress uh, direct shear test results data now we have to so now we have to determine the angle of internal friction so we can determine this by applying this formula degrees sorry degrees then inverse tangent by a10 command now I will have to select the two points along the slope. If we want to find out the slope, what we do is tan inverse of uh, difference of two points along the y-axis divided by difference of two points along the x-axis like this minus this bracket close divided by this minus this but here we have to put some brackets two brackets here and two more brackets here so this is how we can find out the friction angle automatically from direct shear test results so uh, we can verify these results as we do usually by plotting a graph. So how we, uh, if we recall that uh, we, how we can uh, plot the graph of Dretschier test results. So uh, let's recall it. Let's uh, do it again, just to give you the reminder. If you want to 
uh, if you want the detail of this graph you can uh, go to the previous uh, video on my channel then you will find out easily select data add simply along along x-axis we will plot normal stress and along y-axis we plot shear stress okay okay then we simply join it by a linear trend linear uh, best fit line then I will double click on it and I will click this portion display equation on the chart then you can see that uh, uh, y intercept that is 15 is the equation and 15 is the equation then uh, slope of this equation 0 0.387 is called the angle of internal friction so how we do it basically simply uh, as we know that 0 0.387 uh, in this manner we do it manually so a10 but this value is in radian but we have to convert this value into degrees so we will multiply this value in with 57.4 just to convert it into degrees so here you can see that the angle is same in both the cases so uh, this is uh, the difference between automatically determining or determination of c and phi from direct shear test results so I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and uh, Allah.